Hello Inventors, in this video we are going to learn how we can create satisfying app using MIT App Inventor. So let's create this app. So click on start new project and my project name is satisfying app. Okay. Now that's our screen. I'm going to use here one canvas, this one. I'll make this one with and hide as fill parent. And now use here some balls like this one. And let me just make that canvas background color to black. And let me just make that ball background color to something else like orange. And make this radius at least 10. And now let me just make a copy paste. Okay. Let's make it like 7. Okay. And just change all of them like this. Move them. And uh, what do we need to do? We need to just change uh, color. So let me just make that color to something like orange to green. Now what we need to do, we need to use your one timer. So click on sensor and you will find clock. This one, just right under this clock here. And make sure this should be disabled. Okay. And uh, this should be also disabled, both. Now go to the block section. So whenever someone click on that ball, it means whenever someone touch down that ball. Okay. So we have to increase the radius. So click on any component. We are not going to use the one by one ball. Otherwise, we need to write a lot of code what i will do i will use your any ball so you'll find your option that when any ball touch down okay when any ball touch down then we need to increase the radius so for that i will create one variable here so initialize variable and that one is component component and that component i will define any component like wall one just simply define one component here just try and drop this and this is defined ball bone. Now, whenever ball touch down, then we will set that component, set component to that component. It means whenever I touch the ball to, touch down ball to, so this will automatically set your ball to. Now, what I need to do, I need to perform action on my ball to. So, how we can do that? So, simply I will use here clock timer. And whenever that run on that, we need to increase the radius of that ball. So, any ball. Okay, so you will find here the set ball radius option. So this one, so set ball radius and the component is of that one, get component, this one. So just get that component here and we need to just set that. So just use maths here and you'll find the plus this one and we need to get the current component radius. So we just need to use here any ball and you'll find the radius of that ball is like that one. And we just need to call it here and the radius of which wall that uh, get component this one global component radius plus we need to just make it a uh, one or five whatever you want so just make it here so I will make this one five cool and whenever someone touch down or uh, sorry touch up so what I will do here so click on any ball component and you will find the option of touch up this one okay touch up then we will uh, stop that timer so first of all we need to enable the timer so on the touchdown we will set that component but we need to enable the timer so you'll find here the timer option this one clock and you will see the set clock timer enable this one and this should be true like this okay and uh, this one is true and on that just copy paste this one and just here and on that we need to just make it false like this so whenever we just touch down this will be true and this will be uh, fire and this one is for false okay cool now we need to destroy and we need to make uh, that uh, component radius to a uh, default okay we need to make this a 10 or 20 uh, either default radius so we can do that so we will use your uh, flung option and you'll find here whenever we uh, flung any ball it means whenever we dragged whenever we just touch that here you see event handler called when a fling gesture okay so quick swap so what i will do on that uh, on that action okay so on that action what i will do i will set that radius of my default component so like suppose that one okay the get component and the radius i'm going to make this radi radius is like 10 or 20 something like that like this Cool. To go to the design section and you just need to change the timer interval to uh, 100 or you can just make it 10 okay so let me just run this and how it's worked let me just check this click that see it's cool it's satisfying and just uh, click that to destroy it it's done again and just check that it's too much like see you can increase any ball like see and just destroy them all of them 
like this just check that cool so yeah this look amazing like see it's super amazing i love it so yeah that's the overall satisfying app okay that we have created using amite app inventor if you need any help on that so just comment on the video so i'll try my best to solve the problems so thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye Thank you.